a little madness virtually here in March as we open up the tournament here in Dayton, Ohio. Scott Cole along with you. We got the Texas Longhorns coming in 19 and 12, and also UCLA, the Bruins, 19 and 12 as well. And they will control the opening tip as Tyler Campbell, the freshman from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, will start off the ball game. Two halves, him and a quarters. That's Campbell, gets it outside. There's Chris Smith, and he'll knock down the triple. Smith shooting 34% from downtown this season, and he opens up the ball game with a three-pointer. Now here comes the Longhorns. They were supposed to face Texas Tech, and there's a lob, and it's Febris. A pretty pass there from Coleman the third, and we got a one-point game here early. Bruins back on the attack. Over to the right wing. They go down to the post, and there's Hill with a rim rocking jam. And the Bruins back up by three. Coleman back in the four court here for the Longhorns. Comes in, averaging 12.7 a game. Step back jumper for Coleman. And we're back to a one point game. A minute gone by here in Dayton, trying to play their way in to the 64. The winner of this one would face Penn State. The number six seed over in the south. And we got a three from long range. And Jericho Sims skies for the rebound. Comes in averaging just a bit over eight rebounds a game. Coleman now working on the right side. Gets into the elbow area, but off the mark. And here come the Bruins back. Dodson the senior drives right into the lane and a scoop and a score. Dotson only played three games all year long, but gets a rare start here in the tournament. Coleman with it now. Straight ahead, he's got Tiger Campbell pushing him over to the right side. Gives it to Jericho Sims. Sims in the post, gives it right back to Coleman, and he's going to be fouled. It's going to be the first team foul, the first on Campbell, as Matt Coleman will head to the line. A pretty fine there by Sims, but Coleman... Couldn't get the and one, and he'll head to the line for two. Coleman shooting nearly 80% from the strength this season. And he'll knock down the first. He's had his best season so far for the Longhorns in his third year. Texas 9-9 nine and nine in the Big 12, and the second's off the mark in a big reap. Cody Riley will push it ahead. There's Smith. Smith driving into the paint, pulls up, can't hit the jumper, and Sims with another rebound. Longhorns want to run. Three in the corner, and it's good. Febris knocks down the triple, and the Longhorns got a lead, 8-7. to 7.35 to go here in the first. Bruins now. Campbell on the right wing. Feeds it into the post. There's a mismatch down there. Hill had to kick it back outside. The three off the back of the mark. Texas... Comes back the other way. Coleman now. They want to slow it up. Or Shaka Smart making his eighth tournament appearance. Some of those with VCU. And now with the Texas Longhorns. Shot off the mark. Good rebound there by Campbell, the little guy. Getting in there, hitting the boards. Off to Dodson, the senior. Working inside the paint. Fadeaway jumper, no good. Longhorns want to push. One point lead. Febris will pull the three. That's off the back of the iron. So a hot start cooled off a little bit. UCLA back the other way and Hill will be fouled going to the rack and they're gonna get that one on Sims. That'll be his first. So Jalen Hill, sophomore from Corona, California. Bad time to be named that city. 6'10". He's been a factor so far. As a UCLA student starting to get into it here in Dayton. Hill shooting 73% on the season. And he's off on the first. And a big dunk in the opener of this one. He'll step to the stripe again. And he makes the second. We're tied at eight. Three points now for Hill. And an eight to eight ball game. Colbin back the other way. Getting into the paint, and his shot is rejected. Get that sh shot out of here. Cody Riley elevating for the block. 
Longhorns keep possession. Nine on the shot clock. Sims. Gets it off to Febris. Febris over to Coleman. Wide open three, and he can't hit it. Boy, he had a wide open look and couldn't knock it down. Coming up on six minutes to go here in the first half. Campbell with it now. Working on the right side. Gets into the paint, the up and under. It won't go. Hill gets the rebound. Back out to Campbell. And that rims in and out. So a little bit of scoring drought on both sides as Fabris once again from the corner. And he can't hit a three as the pace picks up, but it's not leading to scoring. Back to UCLA the other way. Rowley can't hit the wide open jumper. Texas, let's see if they slow it down. No, Fabris will go into the paint. He won't hit it. And a rebound coming back the other way. Campbell, he'll finally slow it up for the Bruins. 5.20 to go, 8-8. Eight, eight. Another mismatch down low with Coleman. And Riley just bully ball. And finally, we get some scoring. 10 to eight now in favor of the Bruins. It's the second time they got a mismatch down low with Coleman. And this time they make them pay. Texas switching on a lot of defensive possessions now. As they get into the paint, that one's in. As Gerald Idell couldn't get it to go. Bruins want to run. Hill lays it off to Riley and back-to-back -back buckets for UCLA. UCLA tonight in their home white uniforms, Texas in the burn orange. 12 to eight, four point ball game. Longhorns with another possession. It's been a while since they scored. Febris, he'll take it to the paint and he'll get fouled. They're gonna get that one on Campbell. That'll be its first, excuse me, his second, team second. A year ago, Febris only shot 61% from the stripe, but on the season, he's shooting nearly 80% as he knocks down his first. And we got our first substitution of the ball game. Brock Cunningham will come in for Coleman. 12 to nine. 432 to go in the first. Febris knocked down the first. And now he'll stroll the line for the second. Prince Ali also makes his way into the ball game for the Bruins. So a two point ball game as Febris hits them both. 425 to go. Here's Dotson. Dotson uses the window. Pretty move on the left side, and he uses the glass. And that pushes the lead back to four for UCLA. Here's Cunningham now. Brings it up with his first touch. Gets it off to Fabris on the right wing. Drives to the middle of the paint. And he's going to get fouled again, and this time it's Cody Riley. His first team third. As all of a sudden, Fabris starting to be really aggressive. As he took it from the right wing, drove down the left side of the lane, and he'll earn another trip to the stripe. UCLA 14, Longhorns 10. Scott Cole with you here from Dayton, Ohio. Opening games of the tournament as Febris has now knocked down three in a row. The junior, Royce Ham Jr., will check in for Jones. He'll find a spot on the bench next to Coleman. And also Jackets Jr., We'll check in for UCLA. Fabris to the stripe again. He's knit four in a row now. Back to back. Free throw conversions here for Fabris, and it's a two point ball game. Four minutes to go here in the first half. UCLA that turns it over. Sims jumps in the passing lane. Here come the Longhorns. Off the mark there by Gerald Idell. And Bruins back the other way. Singleton. Working on the left side. A couple spin moves. Gets into the paint. Pump fakes. Then the up and under, and he draws the foul. No correction. They get him with a travel. He had picked up his dribble around the free throw line and then tried to go up and under as Jones checks out of the ball game for the Longhorns. Donovan Williams will see his first action. Here for the team at Burn Arge. 14 to 12, Sims now on the baseline. Coming up on 10 on the shot clock, baseline jumper good. And that's Fabris. Ties us up at 14 apiece, 3.15 to go now. Here in the first half, Singleton has it for the Bruins up top. Looking for some pick action and we're gonna have a foul. About 40 feet from the basket is Singleton. Able to draw the foul. Bruins will enter it now. Prince Ali back to Cody Riley. Singleton now at the top. 
He came into the game when Campbell picked up his second. They go down low to Hill. He spins baseline up and under, and it's good. So Jalen Hill with a bucket. Boy, he's played a strong first half so far. Longhorns. Cunningham gets it off to Sims, and it's a two-hand jam. That ties us up at 16 apiece. 2.32 to go now in the half. Back and forth we go. Singleton now on the left side. No look pass down to Hill. Back-to-back -back highlight plays here in Dayton. And the Bruins go back up by a bucket. Cunningham now. Out to Williams on the right wing. Bounces it up to the top. That's Febris. It's a pick from Sims. Nothing there. Driving. Trying to kick it to the corner to Cunningham. Cunningham will pull the three. In and out. Bruins want to run. Under two minutes to go now in the half. And Prince Ali couldn't get it to go on the fast break. And the Longhorns want to come back the other way. Febris. Working on the right side. Working on Hill. He'll pull the three. That won't fall. Longhorns, tough shooting first half, and then Hill just turns it over on the fast break, and they actually say it's last touch by Febris. So the Bruins will have it underneath their own basket, 18 to shoot. 134 to go here in the first. Glad to have you here on Virtual Madness Radio. Scott Cole with you from Dayton. Long three from Singleton. No, but Hill with a big rebound, and he'll lay it in. Some second chance opportunity by Hill, who's certainly been a spotlight for the Bruins in the first half. Cunningham now for the Longhorns at the free throw line, gets into the paint, tries to use the glass, no good as Cody Riley comes down with the board. Bruins back the other way, down the left side, and Ali's gonna draw a foul. They're gonna get that one on Royce Ham Jr. That'll be his first. So 104 to go. It's a four-point ball game. Make it five now. As it, Ali drops in his first, gets his first points of the game. Prince Ali, the senior, the senior, excuse me, from Bronx, New York, comes in shooting 71% on the season. See if he can go two for two. And he knocks down the second. Pretty stroke there from Ali. 22 to 16, one minute to go before the half. We'll have all the stats at the half. Highlights and more. Gets in the paint for Breeze. Off balance jumper and he hit it. Four point game. Chan of defense coming in from the Longhorn faithful. They've cut it down to two possessions here. Under 40 seconds to go. Jack Ez has to pick up his dribble. On the right side now, here's Ali trying to roll, pick and roll for Hill. Hill trying to get down in the post. Shot clock running down, he's got to put it up. Hill, tough shot off the mark, and Sims with a huge rebound. Big hair, don't care for Sims. Final possession possibly for the Longhorns. 13 to go in the half. 22 to 18, they go back up top. Fabrice gets it knocked away, Fabris, excuse me. And Jack Ez on the break. And the shot by the Bruins on the wing won't fall for Singleton. Tries to put it in, but it was after the buzzer. That won't count. And at the half, 22 to 18, Bruins with the lead. Let's take a look at the halftime stats. UCLA shooting 45% from the field. Both teams struggling from downtown. They combined just two of 11. Free throws keeping the Longhorns in it. But it's the rebounding and points in the paint. 16 of the 22 for UCLA coming to the paint. And the Longhorns certainly going to have to shut that down in the second half as we get back to the action here in half number two. And the Longhorns will start with it first. Cunningham gets it off to Febris. Back to Cunningham. Driving on the right side now. Back up top to Febris. Had a hot first half. Do not know where Texas will be without him. Drives to the baseline. Kicks it back out. Cunningham. Check. Shot clock running down. He's got to put it up, and he knocks it in. Bang, bang for Ranny. Thought that was Cunningham. It was actually Ranny wearing 20 tonight instead of three. And that'll go. The hoop and the harm. 
as Prince Ali gets to the rack and pushes the lead back up to three. So Ali will step to the stripe again for the Bruins. And he completes the old-fashioned three-point play. 25-21. 40 seconds gone by here in the second half. Scott Cole with you, a little virtual madness. We're bringing you games from all around the virtual tournament. And we'll show you the bracket at completion of this one. If you missed the action earlier today, Wichita State moved on, Robert Morris and Sienna. Has a good shot there from Rainey after the assist from Williams. So a one-point ball game. 8.50 to go here in the ball game. Singleton gets it to Hill. Hill had an amazing first half. Kicks it out top to three for Ali. And Prince Ali drops it in. What a ball game for him off the bench so far. 28-24 now. Longhorns on the right side. Rainey back up top to Williams. Williams comes along the logo. Gets it to the free throw line. Extended. Can't hit it from the block. Rebound. Comes down for the Bruins. Singleton all alone in the left corner, and it's good. Back-to-back -back threes for UCLA. David Singlin, the hometown kid, the sophomore from Los Angeles, California, shooting 37% from the beyond the three-point line this season. Hit a big three, and here's a rebound by Hill. Hill wants to push it himself. Straight away, three. Ali with the rebound. Another second chance point, and the lead is now nine. The largest lead of the ball game for UCLA. Couple subs waiting to come in for both Texas and the UCLA Bruins. They're at the scorer's table. Longhorns now, they need a response. Loose ball, and it looks like it's gonna be last touched. As we got a couple subs coming in, last touch by UCLA. Williams will sit down. He gave the Longhorn a couple good minutes, but now they find themselves down nine. 10 on the shot clock. They get it in. Back out to the left wing. Coleman finally coming back in the game, but he can't hit. Hit his first jumper of the ball game. Hadn't hit since. Showtime on the other end for Ali. The Longhorns don't get back, and we got a timeout, Longhorns. Texas uses their first timeout, and the Bruins now up 11. 7.20 to go, 35-24. A big time run for UCLA. It's a 13-3 run, and Coleman able to scoop that in with the left hand. Lead back to single digits. Campbell also back in the ball game. Checked out early in the first half as he picked up a quick two fouls. And he goes down low. This is Riley, Riley. Can't get it to go with the right-handed hook. And the Longhorns will bring it back in the forecourt. Trailing by nine, Febris. Back over the right wing now. Bounces it up top. Longhorn shot clock running down at five. And the off-balance shot is good. Lydell taking over with the shot clock running down and it's down to a seven point lead now. 6.19 to go. Tiger Campbell, the freshman, gets it off the hill. Free throw line extended. He knocks down the eight foot, 18 foot jumper over on the right wing. Coleman, slow it up for the Longhorns. Deficit back to nine, six minutes to go. Coleman gets it off the line. Dell, the three won't go. Bruins with a rebound. They want to push. Ali out on the break. And he'll throw it down. 39-28, Bruins. Matches their largest lead in the ball game. Coleman now gets it off to Febris. Febris driving on the left side. He'll use the glass, won't fall, but he'll pick up a foul. As you see, UCLA will face Penn State if they can hold on to this lead. Over there in the south, that, of course, ends its way in Houston at some point. We're bringing you all those games as we move through. But, of course, we got a long way to go. 535. Fabris back to the stripe. Has not missed tonight. Make it 5 of 5. Couple substitutions here for the Longhorns. Jones makes his way back into the ball game. Ball 
Once again, Fabritz will step to the stripe. Second free throw up and good. He's made six from the line tonight. And we're back to a single digit lead for UCLA. 5.28 to go here on the right side now for the Bruins. They drive into the paint and it's gonna be a foul. They get that one on Ferris. That's his first team second. And, and he can't believe they called him on that one as Chris Smith, who started the ball game off with a three pointer. We'll head to the stripe, trying to make a double-digit lead here for the Bruins, and the first is up, and it's good. Smith, a junior from Chicago, Illinois, averaging 13 points a game, and he's shooting 84% from the free throw line. And he'll step up and try to knock down the second here. They got a 10-point lead, 40 to 30. Smith, couple dribbles, and he'll knock down the second. 41 to 30. Back to the largest lead of the ball game for UCLA. They've been at 11 a couple times. Longhorns could really use a triple. And they lob it up and a tip in. Coleman to Jones. And it's back to a nine point game. Can Texas get a stop? Campbell works into the forecourt. Gets it off to Smith. Turnaround jumper. Good. Knocks it down from about 22. He had nobody on him. Smith feeling good from the spot. Back to 11-point ball game. 4.47 to go. Fabris gets it back up to the top. There's Lydell. Lydell over to Jones. There at the elbow. Gives it back to Coleman. Wide open jumper can't hit. Been a tough day for Coleman. Here comes UCLA down the left side. They want to run. Smith gets it to the paint and he'll able to lay it in. Kind of a little floater with the right hand. And UCLA, this is their largest lead of the ball game. 13 points now, 45-32. 4-12 to go in the ball game. Lydell, back up top, long three for the Longhorns, in and out, no good. Poor shooting night for Texas so far as Campbell gets in there, can't make the little layup from the left side, and the Longhorns finally get a stop. And we're going to have a foul on the outside. That'll be on Chris Smith. That'll be his first team second. 3.53 to go. Here comes Jericho Sims back into the game for Texas as Febris is going to sit down with 3.53 to go. Longhorns will enter it at 16 on the shot clock. Over to Coleman. Coleman at the top now, guarded by Campbell. Over to Sims in the corner. The big fella tries to take a three, and Hill for the Bruins comes down with a big rebound, and they want to run. Texas doing a nice job getting back. Here's Dodson. Dodson working on Sims. Feeds it to in the post. There's the double team. Back out to Dodson, and he hits the three. They went down to Hill in the post, and he kicked it right back out, and the senior knocks down the triple. 48-32. 16-point game. Coleman. Pretty feet. He'll lay it in, bring it back to 14. A little bit over three minutes to go. Winner will face Penn State. Dotson on the right side, goes down to Hill. Hill working on Jones, and Coleman knocks it away. Longhorns trying to get into the paint, and it can't get it to go. Hill with the rebound. Cody Riley now will slow it up at the free throw line for the Bruins, and they turn it over again. Sims coming down the left side and a pretty 14-foot jump shot from the baseline. It's good for Sims. That brings us back to 12. Certainly could be another twist in the tail. 2.20 to go. Bruins now. Top of the key. They lob it up for Hill. And Hill lays it in off the alley-oop. 50 to 36. I don't know if that's the play you'll want here in the closing minutes. But it works for UCLA. Jones, tough shot over Hill, no good. And then Hill gets the rebound. Riley trying to slow it up for the Bruins, and he finds Campbell. And he gets fouled, and it's good. The hoop and the harm for the freshman. 52-36. And Rainey will check back in the ballgame. Coleman, who just hasn't had it tonight for the Longhorns, he'll check out. 152 to go. 
52-36. Campbell head back to the stripe for a chance to complete the three-point play. It's up and it's good. 53-36 here on Virtual Madness Radio. Scott Cole with you in the closing minutes. 145 to go, 53-36 in favor of UCLA over Texas. Lydell, top of the key. Trying to drive, nowhere to go. Pump fakes and then he goes up and under and it's good. Smith was on him and he got lost after the pump fake. That brings us back to a 15 point game. Pretty much all but over. UCLA looks like they're gonna be moving on to face Penn State. Hill, step back jumper, no good. Rebound here by Jones. Longhorn's gotta run. And nearly knocked away. Gets into the paint, 14 foot jump shot, no good. Jones with a rebound up and he'll put it back in. 13 point game, under a minute to go in the ball game now. Couple substitutions at the table. I don't know if we'll see him before this one's over. Behind the back pass there by Campbell. Gets it right back. Just inside the logo at the top of the key straight away. Five seconds on the shot clock now for UCLA. They're using all of this clock. Pick and roll here by Hill. Campbell puts up the three. No good, but Hill gets the offensive rebound. They have killed him in the rebound department. It's knocked away by the Longhorns. Hill was stripped on the way up. Rainey coming back the other way. Step back, three for Lydell, no good, and Hill with a rebound. UCLA can dribble out the clock if they want to. Hill still trying to attack. Got triple team for a moment. They give it off to Dotson, the senior. Spin moves, gets into the paint, and he gives a little dream shake, and he'll knock it down, and that won't count. They'll say the buzzer is sound, but UCLA downs Texas here in Dayton. 53 to 40. Bruins are going to be moving on. Face Penn State in the south, as you can see. And of course, then they'll have the opportunity to face Seton Hall or Haas. We'll give you the complete bracket at the end of this one. So UCLA with a big win over the Longhorns. Hill had a huge game. But it was really, when it comes down to it, the second chance opportunities, the rebounding by the Bruins. The Longhorns could not keep them out of the paint. As you can see, 30 of their 53 in the paint at 13 points out on the fast break, 17 points off the bench. But they out-rebound the Longhorns 22 to 11. That's all here from Dayton. We'll see you next time down here in the tournament as you take a look at the completed bracket. As we move forward, we'll see you on Thursday.